Brand new initiative launched in Windhoek for the safety of all road users and also to ensure that people abide by traffic rules. With me, I've got Chief Kanime from the Windhoek City Police. Good morning, Chief Kanime. From your side, the benefit of such a drone in the air? Thank you very much. Uh, with that drone, it's, uh, it, it will help us to be timely at the scene. It will also help us to deploy our resources so it's, 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 it's a milestone in uh, road safety. Uh, not only on road safety, it can also be used in crime prevention. Just imagine the suspect run into the riverbed. This drone can uh, come as uh, lower as um, 10 meters on, on the ground. And it's quite easy to dispatch it. So, and it gives you clear pictures on what is happening. It's, 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 really, it's really a milestone. Clay, thank you so much for speaking to Nampa News. Drone technology seems to me can be used to the benefit of crime prevention and traffic control. You are currently one of the guys started with this initiative in collaboration with Cosmos. Uh, your take on this? Um, I think it's, uh, it's been around for quite a while and I know there are other folks in uh, Namibia that are busy with it at present but I think uh, our involvement with the uh, city police is an exciting one and uh, the way forward we want to look for advantageous ideas, it must be practical, it's not just a case of flying a drone around the city and getting pretty pictures, we want to have a look at traffic situations where there are bottlenecks, perhaps use the video for training and also for creating awareness uh, we know that sometimes the, uh, the, the folks don't always stop at stop streets in, in Namibia and sometimes when we do have a video, we've created a video like this, it just creates awareness where people say, wow, you know, that could have actually been me this morning. And at the same time too, with uh, accident scenes as well, where you can get an aerial overview of a particular situation, we hope that uh, forensically this will also be able to help, be able to look at skid marks and again, creating awareness and also safety in Namibia. Willie, thank you so much for speaking to Nampa News. A very unique initiative between Windhoek City Police, Cosmos and the drone photography. Just shortly, briefly, how did it start and the benefit uh, that Cosmos foresee for this project? Thank you very much. We and uh, the City Police got a relationship of about 12 years already in making the city safer for our people, you know, for our people. And this is a new uh, application that we can utilize to further the, the, the safety of people here. So we're very, very, you know, thrilled about the whole operation. And this was a test this morning to show it to the media and to show it as well to the public that you must be careful, you're watched. Chief, and then also there is the fact that there is evidence, there is footage afterwards that one can see. It, it's uh, it's uh, information, it's pictures on your hand. And, and therefore, it, once this is captured, you can even use it uh, in the court of law. It, uh, it, it, it gives you things that you never expect to have. It's a, it's, a, it's a milestone. Thank you very much, Chief Kanime. And as we just heard, it could be a benefit to the safety, the security, traffic and also crime prevention. I am Frans Lottering, reporting for Nampa News, Windhoek.